In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most common comfort complaints that we hear from customers, and we're going to talk about what causes this and one of our favorite heat pumps on the market that can actually fix this. And if you're tuning in for the first time, perhaps because you found this channel because you're currently shopping for new HVAC, maybe your furnace just went out, and you are finding yourself bombarded with lots of information, at the end of this video, I'll make sure to link two other videos that talk about cold climate heat pumps, as well as an explanation of efficiency ratings and what they mean so they can help you on your search for the best HVAC for your home. And this video is actually being produced in response to a question we had from one of our subscribers that I'm going to read in a moment. But on that note, if you have a question about your specific project, feel free to post that in the comment section below because we do read to and respond to the comments and try to respond in a timely manner, you know, as timely as possible. And we also use these comments to create content that's relevant to you based on the questions we're getting asked from our subscribers. So your comments are read and they are much appreciated. Now the comment reads as follows. Craig Eagleson 5058 posted, I'm in Canada, just north of Toronto. My home retrofit involves a lower level and main level currently heated with forced air gas ducted. The four bedroom upper level is electric baseboard heat. And we have concluded that the addition of ductwork to the upper area would be complicated and cost prohibitive. The contractor has recommended a one ton ductless unit, Daikin single, head wall mount Aurora heat pump, one ton ductless outdoor to supply the upper and a Daikin fit heat pump two ton to supply the lower two floors. I have questioned the need for two units thinking that there may be a Daikin unit that may offer something similar to the Daikin fit heat pump with a ductless outlet that also incorporates a possible single head ductless wall mount that can feed the upper level. Any thoughts would be appreciated. Well, first off, Craig, thank you for taking the time to post a comment. It is much appreciated. And there's a lot to unpack here so I'm going to start off with your region because for anyone that's watching that has a question they want to post below, important information like where you are located or system size is super helpful when we're responding with feedback or any sort of recommendations. So Craig, thank you for the thoughtful and thorough comment and for all the information about your specific situation. And the short answer to your question is yes, absolutely there is an option that you can use one instead of two systems, but there's pros and cons to doing this, which is what I'm going to touch on in this video. And the reason your house is typically uncomfortable. Now, if you walk into a large multi-story home that maybe has one central air system, because if you have a traditional forced system, oftentimes the longest duct runs just don't get good airflow. And as a result, the upstairs might be too hot or too cold. And the downstairs could be extremely hot in certain spots and extremely cold in other spots where they're not getting enough airflow. And the reason that most people have an uncomfortable house is because the duct wasn't designed well in the first place. And honestly, this is just one of the limitations of forced air ducting. Now, one of the solutions to this Craig relayed in his comment is that he will have a second system for the upstairs and a main system serving the main floor. But if you did want to combine these systems into one outdoor unit with two separate indoor units, that absolutely can be done even with forced air products. And that is accomplished using a product called VRV Life. Now, VRV Life is a variable refrigerant flow product that can connect up to 16 separate indoor air handlers for one condenser. I've never connected that many units. At our office, we have three or four, and also at my home, uh, we have a VRV Life system. And as I mentioned, they're only connected to a handful of units, but they still accomplish a lot because we are able to zone individual rooms and areas of the home. And the benefit to zoning with a product like VRV Life that Craig alluded to is instead of having multiple condensers outside, you can eliminate those and have just one condenser provided that the total loaded servicing is still enough to satisfy the entire demand of the home. Now, the downside is that you eliminate a redundancy that is built in by having two or three condensers, for example, like a normal HVAC system has, where you have a separate condenser for each system in a home. And the only reason this is a downside is that if your condenser breaks down on the hottest day of the year or coldest day of the year, you will be without heating or cooling until the HVAC guy shows up to fix it. Whereas if you have two separate systems, you at least have some redundancy. So one of the systems is working until the other system can get repaired. So this is one reason I do like having two systems instead of one. But in general, it's not that big of a deal. And unless you live in a critical climate with extreme temperatures where you literally cannot survive without air conditioning or without heating, then I would make sure that you have some sort of redundancy built in for your peace of mind, whether that's just another type of backup heat or backup air conditioning. But for 90% of homeowners, if you're without heating or cooling for 
a day or two. It might not be that big of a deal depending on how extreme your climate is. And most HVAC companies can respond within a reasonable time, even in the peak of summer. Now, if you don't have space for adding new ductwork in the attic, like our commenter explained, the good news is that with VRV Life, you can also pair it with a head unit or a cassette or a slim ducted unit. So there's lots of options to be able to get heating or cooling zoned into a separate part of your home. And another reason we love VRV Life is because it is an inverter product, which means that it ramps up and down on a continuum versus a single stage air conditioner, which is another reason why your home is uncomfortable because it means number one, it's extremely efficient on startup. And when it's running, it will ramp up and down instead of coming on or off 100% like a single stage system. Literally our five ton VRV condenser pulls less power on startup than a space heater, which is impressive. It's somewhere around 300 watts, which for a five ton unit is very minimal. And the bottom line, it's very efficient when it first kicks on when compared with a non-inverter product. And from an efficiency standpoint, you're typically going to see a consumption savings of somewhere around 30%, give or take, depending on the type of equipment you are transitioning from. Now, that's just my opinion, but that's also what I've seen firsthand in the installations that we've put these in. Now, VRV Life, as well as some of the other Daikin heat pump products out there, offer low ambient capacity that allow them to do well in cold climates. And if you're not familiar with cold climate heat pumps, there's a video that I'll make sure to link at the end that dives into the topic further. But the bottom line is that is one of the biggest heat pump myths that we hear that is simply not true. And that is that heat pumps do not work in cold weather. However, my heat pump works all the way down to negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And I've witnessed it firsthand doing that. So that is obviously not the case. The big thing is making sure you're getting a heat pump that is going to work well in your climate. Any of the low ambient cold climate heat pumps will also work well in extreme heat for cooling as well, because a heat pump is just an air conditioner with a reversing valve. In order for something to qualify for a cold climate heat pump designation, that just means that it has to have a COP rating of at least 1.75 at five degrees Fahrenheit. And I go over this in more detail in the video I referenced earlier that talks about efficiency ratings and explains what they mean and what you should know in the context of picking out the best HVAC for your specific situation. And if you're enjoying this content so far, please make sure you smash that like button for the algorithm and subscribe to the channel. It is greatly appreciated and helps out the channel a lot. So Thank you for doing that. But the bottom line is that if you have uncomfortable hot spots and cold spots throughout your home, and you are looking to zone your house after the fact, meaning that this is not a new construction project, then VRV Life is a great product for this reason because in retrofit applications, it is much easier to run a new copper line set to a remote part of your home than it is to have to go in and add new ductwork to an entire floor, either on the attic or through the floor. And there's another video on our channel where we talk about VRV Life and we actually showcase our system that we have here at the office. So if you wanna check that out, that's linked on our channel as as well. And if you happen to be in one of the areas we service, like Denver, Colorado, or Phoenix, Arizona, you can actually schedule an appointment with us for free. We come out for free for all first-time customers, whether that's for a service call or annual maintenance, or if you're just looking for an estimate for system replacement. And there's actually a link in the description below where you can actually schedule online at your convenience, as well as an up-to-date list of the cities and states that we service, so you can stay up-to-date when we start servicing your metro. And as promised earlier, there's a few videos popping up on the screen right now. One talks about HVAC efficiency ratings and what you should know. And the other explains some of the myths uh, surrounding cold weather heat pumps. So check those out if you haven't done so already, and we'll catch you on the next episode.